Hey everyone, I just thought I should show you a new MCG I've done called Pathfinder. So let's start from the start. This is my start points. This is my end points. To help see it easier, I will type a bit and you'll see why. And then I need the waypoints for the path. Okay. Pathfinder. Start point. End point. Waypoints. Okay. So by default, um, this option, as the crow flies, is the shortest path. Now behind the scene, it doesn't do an exhaustive search of all possible paths and then uh, find the minimum. It's not doing that. It simply does, from the start point to end point, what is the shortest one. So that's why it's picking this one. It doesn't pre-calculate any paths here. Because, um, it's not fast enough and hasn't got enough resource to do that, I don't think, at this stage with MCG. Okay, now, you could leave these start points and end points like this, but here's what I would do. Do that, and you don't even need poly. All you need is points. Same as this one. And it helps, if you turn these on, so you can see where they are. Same as this one. And same as this one. It doesn't really care about the polys, it just wants the points. Okay, this option, as you know, curl easy, always takes a long way around to get somewhere. So this is max distance, this is min distance. And the white walkers is each start to each end, and they spread like a virus. Okay, so now we, if you don't want to show the start, do that. If you don't, don't want to show the end, do that. Relax. So if I assign this, and I turn this on, just easier to visualize. Uh, this is the minimum distance between each hop. So the longer it is, the straighter it tends to be. Uh, Go back to this one, so. Normally one is fine. And of course you could always do this. And it works. Really you have to reset this, but sometimes on the odd cases when I do this, it updates fine, but if it doesn't, then you simply do this. I don't, I don't think you need to. It, it's just there for emergencies. Okay, now optimize is for um, searching for your next point faster. Um, so for flat area, flat points, um, you can crank this high up to about seventy or eighty. 
Right, so my next points are flat and in the general direction of my travel. However, if I have like a sphere, so now if I pick my new waypoint, and let's hide this. Now because my optimize is way too high, and the next point is perpendicular to the direction of travel, it won't find it. So you have to lower it. Default 50 should be fine. Or even lower. There we go. Now, so that's for all points on the surface, but it works for points in 3D as well, so... Let's put this back and get the point as volume, and this is freely available. So there's all my points inside the sphere. Now at the moment it looks still looks flat, so it's not very interesting. So what I can do is something like that. Change my end points. Same as start point, I can vary it a bit. So there you go, it works in fully 3D setup. It needs a slightly different geometry, like this hex plane. So if I repick my waypoint, and might as well put them all to zero. And of course your start and end points can be in here as well. They don't have to be outside. And if they're in here, then you might want to disable this so that it shows the first segment. Same as this. Same as this. 